Hi guys, Margaret here, AKA Margarts. First, let me let me say if you like these videos, um, if you could uh, like them, leave a comment. I love to get comments and interact. Um, and if you could subscribe, that would be wonderful. I'd really appreciate it. This way I know if, you know, if you want me to make more of these videos. So uh, I get a lot of requests on Instagram about making uh, slower videos, slowing down my videos. I do time lapse, uh, which are very fast. And because let's face it, it takes it takes a while to, to make a print. And once you see the beginning or see what it is I'm working with, you kind of just want to get to the finish and see what it looks like. So to me, it's kind of like watching paint dry. So that's why I do time lapse. Um, but on YouTube here, I'm going to start uh, doing some longer versions and, you know, hopefully uh, that'll satisfy some folks. So again, if you if you like it, uh, give me a like and subscribe. And uh, today I'm, I'm going to do um, I have a whole bunch of different veggies here. Uh, these are all print like flowers, which I really like, and uh, we'll make a, a, a sorted flower print. Okay, so uh, obviously we have celery, and um, it's kind of a wonky shape, but that's cool because when it's like this, then you can come in with something different and fit it in here. You know, it gives you. I like something less perfect. It's easy to work around, and okay, artichokes. They make beautiful rose. Um, uh, flowers. The hardest thing about printing with an artichoke is cutting it. So um, use a serrated knife. That's the secret to that. Uh, here we have um, romaine lettuce. And depending on the size of the head or where you cut it, how high up you cut it, how low you cut it, will dictate the size of the rose. So bell peppers. Everyone knows I love bell peppers. Um, and each time you print a bell pepper, it'll look different. Um, uh, they were on sale at, and so I 10 for ten dollars so I bought a bunch of them and each one of them will look different um you know this kind of looks kind of like three lumps he, he has four you can see the center is different these make a mess the seeds all over but they're wonderful I love to print with them so okay okra which you know these little beauties here and you can see have make beautiful little flowers these make a real big mess too because the seeds these are kind of sticky and the seeds will stick to everything okay we got beautiful habaneros look at these they're like they're just gorgeous um and they're orange my favorite so um i, I buy an assortment of different sizes i, I stand there at one of those obnoxious people picking each one out um to me they have to have a little handle on them and uh, so these will be nice. I don't wear gloves. A lot of people say I should wear gloves. I don't. Fortunately, I haven't had an issue. And then I just bought, you know, a bag of these little uh, small size peppers. Again, this, see, this doesn't have a handle. I prefer they have like a little stem handle. Okay, so that, that's what we're going to work with. Um, let me get my fabric together and we'll start. Okay, I have my fabric together. I have my ink rolled out. Um, I'm just, I print on natural fabrics. This is a, um, a linen blend, um, natural color. Uh, I use, I'm going to use blue ink today, which if you follow me on Instagram, you know that's kind of my signature color. Uh, the story behind that is several years ago, um, one of the first uh, 100 day projects I did with the printing, um, I wanted to keep it consistent. I was using a whole bunch of different items and to give the project some consistency, I decided to use one color. And uh, the way I arrived at blue was honestly, I Googled what's the most popular color and the answer is blue. So uh, that's what I did. I, I chose a blue I like and um, it, the rest is history. It's just kind of become my signature now. So uh, that's what we're gonna use. Okay, so I don't really have a plan when I do these. A lot of times, I first of all, I don't usually work with so many vegetables at once, uh, very rarely. Um, but I'm doing a couple of projects where I needed them, so I actually have all of them at one time. So I figured, why not uh, do one with all of them? We'll see. We'll see how it goes. So, okay. Uh, basically, I just start. So let's do that. I I probably won't talk through the whole video. Um, it, you know, it's not really my thing, but. Uh, I'll try to remember that I'm on video and, and speak once in a while. So um, the plan is I just kind of start, I'll ink something up and uh, start placing it down. And then, uh, you know, according to, you know, space, you know, if I need a little filler, I'll add one of the little things and, you know, we'll, we'll see how this progresses. So you'll see it as, as I do it. So 
Okay. I'm gonna, I'll ink this up and sometimes uh, if I'm, you know, sometimes I'll do, I'll just take a scrap and, um, you know, just do a little test, you know, make sure that it's, you know, okay. And, you know, you can see here, there's like some little pieces sticking up. So, which is, it really isn't an issue, but you can always come in and give it a little trim, you know, so, okay. Doesn't matter where you start, you know, depending on what I'm doing, if I'm printing a bandana or a tea towel or, um, you know, something to that effect, uh, you, can, you can start in the middle, you can start at the end. Uh, sometimes if I'm printing a pouch uh, and I'm conscious of where the front is and where the back is, if it's directional or not, I'll start in the middle. But, you know, for this, I'm just gonna start at the bottom and we'll work our way up. This is just a piece of fabric that will probably get cut up and, you know, cut into something. Okay. I love artichokes. I love printing them. I've actually never eaten one, but, uh, all right, let's give this celery a try. Celery is another one that every time you print it like peppers, it's, it's different. You know, the shape is different. I love when um, you get these little holes in here, when they show up, that's a real treat, you know. Okay. Now you can see, you can see here, like I did a little test print. Now you see how it's hitting uneven? That means it's probably not cut evenly. Let's give it a... Okay, there we go. That's okay. The imperfections are, to me, what makes everything look nice. We'll see. Might have a different opinion when I'm done. Then I'll just, you know, I'll place it down. I'll work around whatever's here. Sometimes it's good to start on the end. Um, and have like a little extra room so that when you're first doing it, you know, if, um, cause the vegetables will print differently by the end than they do in the very beginning. So it's kind of, if you start at the end, you know, where there's some imperfections, eh, you cut that end off and, you know, you can see where there's more ink here. So it's definitely not cutting evenly. So I may go back in with the knife and trim that down, but well, let's try to get one of them, each of them down and give you an idea. Look how beautiful. Looks like a pretty little rose, right? Okay, let's do one of our peppers. You can see the seeds coming off on my uh, roller there. Now they're being everything. That's why I like the little handle. So, And you just put it in like a little puzzle. Press down on the middle so you get that area and then around the edges. Okay. Now, if I was doing a different print um, and I wanted to ghost print a lighter, a lighter shade, um, I would just print it again, but I'm not going in that direction with this. So, all right, let's try the other pepper so you can see the little difference. Somehow the center here is split, but that's all right. That'll make it interesting. You, have, you really have to embrace imperfections with this because it's, uh, it's nature. There's lots of imperfections. So, it's... so I'll just do this as I go along. I'll just, uh, there's no plan. Just like, okay, I have this down here. Let me go over here with this. 
my artichoke is not as firm as I would like. And it's, it's, it's very, I guess it wasn't very fresh. So it's, it's, I'm not really pleased with the way that's going. So I might, uh, this might be the cutoff end here. So let's do some of the little guys. some here. Okay. See, oh, this is the bottom, bottom end that I had cut. And you can see it's a little harder to grab without the uh, stem on it. So we'll do the top end. All these habaneros, they're, they're different sizes, they're different shapes, and um, they're good because they, uh, I like a variety of sizes in a print. It, I think it gives it more interest than just having, you know, I mean, of course, I do many prints with just artichokes or just peppers, but I, I like a variety of size also. Look at that. That's nice. So I'll, I'll create like a little cluster of uh, these little things, and then you can come back in with a a bigger one. Okay, let's come in with. Uh, let me go cut this celery down, and then we'll do that. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I trimmed down the celery. Let's see. Okay, the celery is over here, so let's go over here. Okay. The edges aren't printing great, but that's okay. And then maybe to balance it, I'll come over in here. Just give a little extra pressure on the outer edges if that wasn't touching very well. Okay, there you go. Okay, now this is something that I never ever do, but and it's probably a mistake, but um, I cut down, since the artichoke wasn't printing that well, it's very like soft. Um, I went and trimmed it down, which is, that's a fool's errand. But I figured, you know, this is real life, so, you know, I'd rather do it and show you, and instead of you thinking, um, oh, well, why isn't mine working, you know, it's it's not just you. Sometimes that's just the way it is. Let's give it a try before I put it on the fabric in here. Let's see. Okay. All right, that might be worth a go. We'll give it a try. Okay, but... Uh, you know, things happen for me also. Sometimes, uh, you know, it, it, like I said, you have to embrace the imperfections. Otherwise, you're just not going to be happy or enjoy doing this. So. Okay, let's go over here. Let's see. Fingers crossed. I would, I would say, too, like this came off very heavy. This was a little lighter. I'm not sure how this will be, so I'll, I'll apply a little bit less pressure. That, that's honestly not too bad. That's that's not really awful. So, okay. Sometimes not awful is a good thing, you know. That's sometimes not awful is the best you're gonna get. So, you gotta embrace it. All right. This was a small head of uh, romaine. A, a bigger head would give you a much bigger flower. Okay. And maybe I'll do another one right down here. This is this is honestly just how I do it. You, you know, there isn't a plan, and you just kind of see the shapes that um, develop. Everyone says, oh, you have such a good eye. Um, but honestly, I, I've been in the... Uh, 
surface design industry for um, a zillion years. So uh, I've done repeats. I know repeats. Um, so I guess after a while, you kind of develop an eye for it and you instinctively know, you know, what to do, you know. Uh, plus you look at it and you want to, you want to balance things, you know, so that all of that comes with practice, you know, time, putting the time in and getting practice. Get some little ones in, in the little small areas, you know, here where I'm missing the leaf. And we we'll just go in here and we'll add a little flower here. Yeah, you don't even know. Sometimes I'll drop something, you know, on here. I'll uh, after I've printed it. I'll, I'll, you know, whether it's a pepper or whatever, and you'll end up with like a little line. Just, um, you know, just print something else on top of it. You know. Oh, people also say, "How do you stay so clean?" Yeah, as you can see, I don't. You know, but I do wash my hands a zillion times in the process. Okay, let's go over here. We have two peppers here. Make a nice balance over here. And then I'm, as I'm printing this, I'm already thinking, okay, and then I'll come over here with one. Okay. I think peppers too, as you're printing them, the first couple of prints, um, the first couple of times you press them down, um, aren't really even as, as nice. Oh, see what I just did? There, see how I grazed that? Okay, and you know, but there's no need to freak out. Just, just go right in on top of it. There you go. Okay, and just make sure you have like uh, something uh, to bleed off. All right, well, maybe I'll do a little cluster of, maybe I'll do another uh, pepper right here next to this one. And I'll just, sometimes I'll just turn it and see, you know, what how it fits nice. Now I have a space here, so I already know Okay, I'm going to put a little okra in there. It's good to have some dead space, too. Some open space gives your eye a rest, but, uh, you know. Oh, see, that, I think the pepper's starting to print uh, nicer than it did even in the beginning. So, okay. Let's let's get a little, let's get, uh, how about a, sometimes I'll see what size will fit. A little habanero in here. Perfect. Okay, it's a wonky shape, but that's okay, you know. And I think I'll put one right in here. See how this, how this curves here, and then this curves it fits together almost like a little puzzle. Perfect. Perfect, or you know, less than perfect, but that's okay. That's what we're going for. All right. Um, what should we do? Oh, maybe we'll give the old uh, artichoke another try over here. Okay. Now, oh, see, it's looking better. So maybe I'll do a little cluster of those two. Let's do it coming off. A lot of times you'll see me do this. This is just kind of holding the fabric down while I lift it up. So I try to keep at least one hand partially clean. Okay. Now we'll put something, oh, a pepper. I guess we're going to put a pepper in here. All right. That looks like a good spot for a pepper. We'll use the one with the, uh, oh, let's go back to this one. So I twist it around, see, so get a nice little fit. Press down on the center so you can get this nice center. Hmm, looks good. All right, so we'll do it again. Okay. 
Come right over here. Perfect. Okay. All right, I think it's time for me to go wash my hands and I'll be right back. Okay. Um, I'm gonna, maybe I'll print this section right down here and then maybe we'll flip it around and print up there. So here we have spaces, um, which uh, maybe we'll, maybe we'll print this. Let's do celery. Where's the celery here? This. Okay. And then we'll print it right off the fabric. See, see, this is where, see the shape, how I said it's less than round and size. A shape like this will fit right in here. Look at that. Perfect. Look at that. Again, we're losing this, so it must mean it's not even, but I can put a little habanero in there. And we'll put a pepper, uh, celery over here as well. I should make a multi-celery print. Like, buy a whole bunch of different celery, have all different shapes of celery, and do them in one print. Just thinking out loud. Okay. Okay. That's nice. Okay, let's get some hair bearers in here. This is perfect for here. Now some of these like um like here, these this one, this one, this one. Sometimes with your peppers also, if you don't have little center interests, like some of them you can see the little dots here. You can always go in with the end of um like a toothpick or a chopstick and just put little um dots in. I think we need to put something there. So let's do that. It also pays to to step away from sometimes and to look at it and see what it needs or there we go. And then let's print off the edge here a little bit. I like to go completely off the edge. So if I cut it up to make a pouch or something, uh, this way there's interest on every, right into the seams. And the fabric's there, you have the stuff, so why not print it? Okay, let's get some little okras. I bought the okra, um, well, I love printing the okra, but um, specifically, I'll probably, maybe I'll make a video of two. A friend of mine has some grandkids that she wanted uh, some t-shirts for. So I thought these would make little nice uh, baby-sized flowers. So we'll give that a go. You can see how, how the variety in sizes give it a nice interest. And the variety in flowers, if you will. Okay. Look how I'm dirty already, so everyone thinks I keep my hands so clean. All right, just turn this around. And then we can work our way down. It gives you another perspective of looking at it, too. So, you know, I'm looking at it, and I got peppers here, uh, the romaine here. Oh, maybe maybe we need a celery in here, because we have the artichokes, the peppers, the romaine. Okay, what did I say we need? Celery. Okay. I mean, this is exactly how I do it. I just don't usually talk to my, well, I do talk to myself and I talk to my dog, but he doesn't really have much input on my printing. There we go. Okay, and while I have it in my hand, then I'll, maybe I'll do it right over here. Look at this. this looks like it would fit nice. And I'm going to put a little extra pressure on the edges here. Because you can see I'm missing there. Now something that you, yeah, I'll do something that you should never ever do. Let me see. Try to, try to line it back up. That's, that's really a, a fool's errand. I'll put a little ink on here. We'll see what happens. This is a real no-no, but there we go. Let me see if I can, look at that. Sometimes it works. Okay, alrighty. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put some small peppers in here and then we'll go back to something bigger. Okay. Oops, I have these small, I bought these small um, 
little peppers. Uh, they have like a thicker skin than the habaneros, but they, they're probably in the same uh, size range, so that's good. Little, But it'll give you a slightly different look. Let's do those in here. Yeah, you can see the thickness. Yeah, let's do, we'll do one of these next to it and you can see the difference. So that'll give you a variety. Sometimes too, the, you can see the insides will get sunken in. So you just kind of make sure you press down in the center and then you'll catch it. But you can see the thickness difference. Oh, you know what? And here we'll put a little okra in here. Okay. Uh, an okra too, for the length of an okra, you can cut it up in a bunch of places and you see how the seeds come out as you're rolling the ink on it. So uh, we'll try a little in here. But it looks good with and without the seeds. If the seeds come out, that's fine. If they stay in, that's fine. You know, it. The, sometimes you get nice definition. You know, you can see here. See, this is just a middle section, so I can do both ends. This is a little smaller. This is a little bigger. The seeds are kind of sunken in there for the most part. Okay. And it's, you know, it's um, a little abstract, if you will. So that's okay. Put one here. All right. So how about some romaine? We'll do a romaine here. Okay, this is not the best romaine I've ever printed, you know. Actually, I, I, I think that uh, some of my veggie uh, selection this week was not great, apparently. I've had much better artichokes. The romaine is less than perfect. Okay, let's see. The, the peppers are good. All the peppers are good, but otherwise. So let's do more peppers. peppers oops I did it again see <laughs> I just dropped something there. But once you uh, we'll put an artichoke there, you'll never know it was there. So, you know, you think, oh, I'm almost done, and then I messed it up. But, you know, that's okay. Now, look, I'll put it right down over there, and nobody will know. Okay. Throw a little celery in here. You can throw some here and some here. Oops, that happens. Okay. See, I'll rotate it around, get the best position. Not loving the celery today.
it will put a nice pepper in here. I think I'm leaning, favoring the peppers today. They're printing the best out of all the vegetables. But. Okay. And then maybe we'll go off the edge here also. Put a little celery in on the edge here. Okay. And we'll fill it out with some little little peppers and okras. Look, some space here. You can see why I do time-lapse. I honestly have no idea how long this has taken, but I suspect, uh... there we go. Okay, oh, look at the shape. <laughs> Interesting, put that in here. No seeds in it, but we can always uh, add a little something in there. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, not that over here. Okay, that's our print. Now I could have, um, you know, um, ditched this and not show you, but it's. I think it's good to see all the flaws, the things that happen, how they happen. Um, you know, if you get something that's not printing great, you know, but because it, it, it's real life, this is it happens to me too. And um, you know, for everybody who's uh, you know followed the way I do things, um, I would hate to have them think that uh, you know it's perfection all the time. So, but it's not. So. Alrighty, I hope you enjoy printing. Um, I would love it if you would subscribe, like it, um, and you know, comment if you'd like. I always try to interact with anybody who leaves a comment, and um, I'll be printing more soon. Thanks.